Hey guys, I'm Brian Latimer, and today I'm going to give you the details on how I like to fish one of my favorite soft plastic baits ever, the Z-Man Fatties. watched any of my videos here recently um, you notice I've done a lot of sight fishing I've done some fishing uh, for some post spawn spotted bass we've been doing a little bit of offshore fishing but one thing is stay consistent I fish for fish in two foot of water I fish for them in 30 foot of water but the most consistent the only consistent thing that has stayed the same on every single trip if you see me catch a lot of fish on the z-man fatties uh, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it you know, this bait is basically a glorified stick bait. It has a little bit more taper, has a little bit more appeal to it, but the fact that it's elastic formula gives it a little bit different action. And I've paired this plastic with uh, a Z-Man Power Finesse Rooms head. That's the jig head that I use with it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to fish this bait. I'm gonna tell you a lot about why it seems to work so well for so many different situations, and especially if you have spotted bass. It works, I catch a little bit of everything on this bait, but especially for spotted bass. It's Make sure you guys check out the link in the description box to Sportsman's Outfitters. The plastic, the rod, the reels, the line, everything will be listed in the description box for every bit of equipment that's listed in this video. All right guys, so you know, I've been throwing, you've been seeing me throw this uh, Z-Man Fatties quite a bit here recently. And uh, here's my little setup here. This is the plastic. You've seen it before. This is a uh, green pumpkin blue Z-Man Fatties. That is a five inch stick bait. Uh, you know, it's just, to me, that bait is just a little bit more appealing than your traditional stick bait. You can see it's got a little bit more taper when you get towards the tail here. Um, and I throw that on the uh, Power Finesse Rooms head, either a one fifth or one sixth ounce head. Really simple. There's nothing uh, really complicated about this. This particular setup, you can see it's got a little groove set up in the back back there. That's good to hook, uh, hide your hook point in. And this plastic does not pull down off of the hook ever. I mean, it just will not pull down. I use a little bit of super glue. And when you super glue that bait on there, I mean, you can catch tons and tons of fish on just one bait. So I'm using Seaguar. This particular line is Seaguar Finesse Fluorocarbon, 8.4 pound test. And I'm, I'm tying that with an Alberto knot to a 15 pound test Seaguar Smackdown. Revo STX size 30 reel and the rod of choice, my favorite six stick, seven foot one medium heavy action. Uh, that's my setup. That's the whole rod and reel combo. That's everything I use. As far as what I'm fishing here, you can see, you notice I'll fish this bait. I'll fish it around anything. I've caught fish off the bed with it in some of my videos you've seen. I've used it for sight fishing. Uh, just here recently at the Bassmaster Open, um, Eastern Open at Norman, I caught a lot of fish on docks with it. And the whole secret behind fishing docks is shade and cover. A lot of times when fish are in the post spawn stage, when you've got just a little bit of shade, those fish use the docks as almost like a resting place. They use it as they come in, that's, a where, that's where they pre-spawn and when they're going on their way out, they also stop on these docks. There's always brim, um, there's always some type of panfish that hangs around docks. So there's food, there's shade, which makes them feel protected. Uh, so they just kind of use those to, to, to rest up on. So uh, let's walk through what I look for when I'm fishing docks. As you can see, this is one of the bigger floating docks here. When I was fishing at Norman, a lot of the docks are fixed position docks, so you have structure that's connected to the bottom, which is also a high percentage area, and also floating dock off to the side. And most of the docks here where I'm at today are floating docks. That's always a good place to throw, you know, any type of uh, soft plastic stick bait or anything like that. But anywhere those uh, that, that you've got some shade, what I like to target, you can see this is pretty much the, the this is around noon, so the sun is real high. So you, your your shade capacity is maximized on most all your docks so what i'll do is i'll just i actually got one on there just flip it in the dock let's catch this one well that was right on cue i don't know how big he is <laughs> pretty cool huh <laughs> oh he broke me off i was actually just trying to demonstrate there what i would do with the fatties and he broke me off um but anyway so normally i would just flip in that dock <laughs> 
<laughs> just flipping that dock and catch one on my fatties. So let's get retired here. So, you know, I'll just flip my bait in the dock just like that. And uh, I like to get the shade. If there's an open slip, that's always good. I'll skip it under some of those places that, um, you know, where the under the, the dock floats. I'll skip it in there where there's more shade at. And I'll just skip it in there in that high percentage place. Just let it hit the bottom first and shake it a little bit. That's, you know, it's, it's not real complicated. A lot of times, just like you just saw there, I just wasn't ready. I had my, I had my drag locked down, so I wasn't ready for a fish to actually bite there. That was supposed to be strictly demonstration. Um, but when you flip it in there, I like to let it hit the bottom and then I'll just pick it up, shake it a couple times. Most of the time, the fish is going to hit it when you flip it in there and it hits the bottom. By the time it hits the bottom, most like 90% of the bites are going to come as soon as you pick up the bait. Uh, so I'll just flip it in there, shake it after it hits the bottom a little bit, and then I'll move on to the next dock. But, you know, you can always see how these fish are going to set up on these places. Sometimes they're going to set up on the front. Sometimes they're going to be in the dock slips. Sometimes they're going to set up in the back near the catwalks. Uh, the catwalks are always underrated because catwalks take most of the time a little bit of extra effort to get to you can see here these catwalks or um you know they got cables running across them but that also offers some more shade and you know shade is is the dominating factor of why fish hang around these docks so, a lot of the catwalks lay a little bit closer to the uh to the water and that gives them a little bit more shade a lot of the docks that have more boats in them or more sl slips in them, those are always going to be a little bit higher percentage uh, docks than the other ones. Um, you know, if it's got a, a lot of slips, that's a bigger boat dock, bigger shade, bigger shade. So, you know, a lot of times that can be a little bit better, better dock than others. You know, anytime you're fishing docks, especially when you're fishing docks for, from a uh, finesse standpoint, you know, it's always important to pay attention to what docks are setting up the best. You know this dock is kind of setting out by itself it's the last dock it's out on a point to be the last uh especially when you're talking post spawn these fish would be moving out of this back area back here and they would be moving along they would stop along these main lake set of docks and then they would just move right on out to the main lake point out into the main lake hump so this would be in my mind a high percentage place to um i'm actually got one on that's a high percentage one there's another one little baby but didn't really expect to get out here and show you guys to catch anything i was really just trying to show you the details here but um but you know anytime you got docks like this on the main lake that's going to be a high percentage area to uh to stop and fish during the post spawn you know it's not quite summer yet it's not quite um and it's still not spring you know, it's just the latter part of uh or the year it's kind of that transition cycle and you know fish are they're either going to set up on docks on the points sometimes they set up on docks in the backs of pockets and that's really important to pay attention to all of that so you can kind of start to to target the right areas and spend the most of the time in the right areas the other thing that you see me catch a lot of fish doing with the fatties is i'm catching a lot of spotted bass that are actually spawning and spotted bass they spawn a little different than a lot of your other bass they're going to spawn deeper they're going to spawn closer to the main lake they're going to spawn around rocks um, anytime you got a little flat area especially if it's rocky near the main lake that's going to be a high percentage place to catch spotted bass when they're spawning anytime you've got a little rocky area that's pretty shallow towards the main lake you can see we're right here adjacent to the main lake where i'm fishing now you got a little bit of a mud line which is not ideal um, but anytime you've got an area like this this is a good place to just throw that bait right i like to always say throw it right where you can't see the bottom and spotted bass are super protect protective when they're when they're around their beds they don't bed long um, but when they're there and they're in their own beds they are super protective so you if you get that bait anywhere close to where those fish are they're probably going to bite it it's, it's very simple fishing it's so easy to overthink fishing sometimes this is a simple setup that anybody can use no matter what your tournament level is if you're just starting fishing i take my son out to catch the uh, fish on this this same exact rig here when i take people out uh, guiding guide trips here same rig we catch a lot of fish just throwing a simple 
soft plastic worm just throwing it in the high percentage places that fish use the other way i like to fish my z-man fatties is nico style and nico style basically all i have is a uh, this is a one alt owner mosquito hook and i'm just going to um I'm not going to hook it in the middle i'm going to hook it in probably the first third of the bait and i'm using the same bait the same uh, green pumpkin blue z-man fatties and what i do is i take this is actually a um a ned rig head i cut the point off the hook cut the line tie off stick that in there because you know z-man plastic is a little different as a 1 20th ounce sinker there and i use a little super glue to secure that in the uh, plastic and i skip it on the, some of the deeper docks or if i notice that the dock that the fish are kind of using they're staying up higher in the water column. But there's really about three things that I see when I look at a dock. Of course, if you look at the back of this one, you got the cow, catwalk. A lot of times when the fish are using the shallower areas, when they're actually spawning, the catwalks can be the highest percentage area and that can be the best place. When you're starting to move out towards the post spawn at the time of the year where it is like it is now, a lot of times it's gonna be more of the front end of the docks or where there's shade. So, my first cast a lot of times is going to be right to the front side to the easiest i'm going to try to catch that easy bass first a lot of times they'll come out from under it and get your bait that's going to be my first cast there's no need of me risking hitting the dock making a bunch of noise and spooking every bass on the dock by making a difficult cast first so i'll do that first i actually got one to bite on that one see that was the easy bass that i was talking about a little small guy <laughs> just a little eety weedy baby there uh oh dropped him that was a quick release but point being as i was rudely interrupted there now this was a nico style fatties i just got that bite on a lot of times i'll make the easy cast first so i'm going to cast out in front or on the side whatever the easiest cast is first i'm just going to cast down the side that time and once i make that cast i'm going to you know work these docks fairly fast especially this time of the year during the post spawn of the year i'm not going to work them very slowly now boat position is very important you notice i said the easiest cast first now you notice there's two ways i could have accessed this this deck area on this particular dock i could have skipped them on the the back side over here or i can skip in the front you'll notice on the front there's a lot bigger gap that's going to be a lot easier cast and i get the same result as if i wait and be patient and get in front of the dock where the easiest cast is it's one of the biggest mistakes that i see from a lot of fishermen is not being patient with your cast don't be so anxious to get your bait under the dock that you make a ridiculously hard cast and ruin the entire dock so boat position is important you want to be far enough away from the dock that you can make the cast effectively if you're too close you you just you can't make the cast effectively you don't want to be too far back because then you can't be accurate as well so you can see now i'm probably about 30 foot away from the dock that's a good sweet spot for me and get my bait right under the dock here and first thing i do when i skip under the dock is i just do nothing grab you a sandwich drink don't touch it don't do anything you can just just let that bait especially when you're talking about a nico rig like this one is just let that bait sink a lot of times he's 90 percent of the time he's going to get the bait on on the fall so i'll just skip it in there let it sink and once i kind of know where the fish are using the water column if they're about halfway down the boat is setting in about 17 18 foot of water here so um you know i'm going to let that bait sink seven or eight foot down that dock is probably sitting in about 12 foot of water so i'm going to just skip it under there and most of the time, I'm just gonna let it sink, hit the bottom, and then reel it back in. So that's a little bit about how I like to fish the Z-Man fatties. It doesn't matter if you're fishing in 30 foot, 10 foot, or two foot, this bait simply gets bites. Make sure you check out the description box. I'll leave a link to Sportsman's Outfitters that has every bit of equipment that I listed in this video. The rods, the reels, the line, the bait, everything will be listed in that description box, so you'll be able to get it there. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and make sure you share this video. Let me know how you like it. Make sure you stick around for the next video on the details.